close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this fall makeup tutorial right here. I did a little bit of an orange purplish glitter eyeshadow look. I thought it'd be perfect for fall. I also think that you could use this for like a Halloween makeup inspired look if you didn't want to do anything crazy because of the purple and the orange and then you could just switch up the lip to either black, gray, or purple. So if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look right here, please keep watching. Starting off this makeup look, I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Aqua Primer Spray. And then I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Smoothing Primer. Now for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Do You Foundation, and this is in the shade natural beige and I'm applying it with my Tarte foundation brush. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. To blend that out, I'm going to be using my Morphe E45 and then I'll go over everything with my damp Sonia Kashuk sponge. To cream contour, I'm taking the Benefit Quickie Contour Stick in the shade Hula. And then I'm going to blend that out with my Real Technique Sculpting Brush and my Artiste Oval 3 brush. Moving on to brows, I'm going to first comb them up and then I'm going to be applying my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde. And now I'm just using this ColourPop eyebrow pencil just to deepen up the tail of my brows.
Now I'm using this Ulta Beauty brow powder and I'm just going to be using this to kind of set my brows and then just to fill in a little bit more because there are some like sparse areas and I like to use brow powder especially at the front of my brows because I think it looks more natural. Now I'm using the Brow Gal Tinted Fiber Brow Gel. This just makes my brows look fuller, so that's why I really like it. To set my face, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium. To set my under eyes, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. For bronzer, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm taking the middle contour slash bronzer shade. For blush, I'm taking Max Melba in Peaches Mixed. To brighten up my under eyes, I'm using the MAC Pro Emphasize Powder. And then for highlighter, I'm using Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive. To clean up my contour and bronzer, I'm just using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And now I'm busting out the Morphe 350 All Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm taking this cream shade right here and just placing this all over my lid with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm taking this orange shade right here and I'm just going to be using this as kind of like a transition shade. Now I'm taking this orange shade and I'm just putting that directly on top of the first orange shade. I'm just like pretty much layering shadows just to get that depth.
Now going in with this pretty orange shade, this is probably my favorite shade in the whole palette. I'm just placing that into the crease and a little bit on the lid as well. Now I'm going in with this dark orange shade here at the bottom and I switched to like a more precise blending brush and I'm focusing this shade on the outer corner and then on my lower crease. Now I'm taking the Sugar Pill palette. This always comes out around Halloween time. This is the Burning Heart palette. Sorry, <laughs> brain fart. And I'm taking the shade called Flame Point. Now I'm taking the shade called Buttercup Cupcake. It's this yellow shade and I'm just buffing that on my upper crease. I just wanted a little bit more of like a yellow up there. Back in with Flame Point just to deepen up the crease. Now I'm just dusting off that bake. Now I'm going to do a cut crease, so I'm taking my P. Louise base in the shade number 2 and my MAC 242 brush. Now I'm taking the shade called Poison Plum from the Sugar Pill Palette and I'm just going to be packing that everywhere that I put the P. Louise base. And I did get some fallout from this purple shade, so I went ahead and baked, but it was a little bit too late. So I would definitely suggest either doing your eyes first or putting some loose powder underneath before applying the purple shade because it was kind of like a hot mess for me. And now I just switched to a Sigma inner corner brush. It's just a smaller detail brush just so I can get right up against that line that I created when I made the cut crease.
back into the Morphe palette, I'm going to be mixing these two orange shades together and I'm just going to be packing that on the outer V and blending that into the purple shade. Now I'm adding a little bit more of the yellow shade back into my upper crease. And some more of the orange shade. Now I'm just dusting away my under eye bake and then I'm going to be going in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Electra. And I first applied it with my finger and I think it was okay, but I couldn't get like very precise with my finger. So I ended up using my MAC 242 brush, but I'm just placing this shadow all over on top of the purple shade. For some glitter, I'm taking this JCAT Holographic 3D Eye Topper, and this is in the shade Unicorn Hype, and I'm placing this directly on top of the purple shade as well. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to to get started on the lower lash line, I'm just taking a mix of all these orange shades and just layering them on top of each other. And then in with Flame Point from the Sugar Pill Palette. Life along the way. And I'm taking the yellow shade Buttercup Cupcake and I'm just running that underneath all the orange shades. For my waterline, I'm taking this ColourPop gel liner in the shade Piggy Bank. Next, I'm applying some mascara because I'm going to apply some false lashes. And now some lower lash mascara too. For lashes, I'm using the Ilure Lashes times Nicole Guerrero. I think they're in 143. For lips, I'm taking the ColourPop and Shayla BFF3 Lippy Pencil.
And then for my lip color, I'm taking the Palladio times Casey Holmes. This is in the shade Rescue. I've never used this before. I thought when I first got it, it was like a darker nude, which it is, but I didn't realize that it was like a Kylie Jenner lip color. Like it's a dark mauve, kind of like the Whirl shade from MAC. I'm obsessed with this lip color. Oh my goodness. For my inner corner highlight and my brow highlight, I'm taking the Dose of Colors times I Love Sarah E, and this is in the shade Soulmate. Did not realize I had so many collaborations in this makeup tutorial. To set my face, I'm taking MAC Fix Plus in Gold Light and the Physician's Formula Insta Ready setting spray. Okay guys, this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed this fall makeup tutorial and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!